All right, y'all seem to really like the clearance bait challenge that I did. So we're gonna try cheap baits again. So this time we're up here at Dunham's Sporting Goods. We're gonna take a walk in and see what they got. I found something that I want, but I have no way of transporting it right now. This is like a magnum sized kayak. Maybe my old town has a higher weight capacity. Hmm. It's also about 80 pounds heavier. Well, this Imagine Dragons or whatever it is they're playing in here is loud. But I found something I really, really want. I don't need it, but I want it. It's a Coleman propane coffee pot. That's freaking awesome. All right, we're here. And real quick, we'll go ahead and get the baits over with. Um, I tried to keep everything at $3 or less, which is kind of hard to do at Dunham's because they typically don't carry a lot of crappie style baits. It's mostly like bass baits. And for whatever reason, big striper and musky type baits, or at least mine does. But anyway, starting out, the first bait we got here is Apex Tackle, one and a half inch rigged two baits of chartreuse black. That's what they look like. And what sold me on these was they're pre-rigged. You've got five tubes, five jig heads. And here's the kicker. $1.99. Five tubes, five jigs. The way it should be. Not two jigs and 28 bodies. Anyway, next one. Another one by Apex Tackle. This is a two-inch curl tail grub. Chartreuse Silver Flake. You can see what they look like there. Nothing special, really. Just cheaper baits. Two dollars nine cents. And next up is another one by Apex Tackle. Two inch curl tail grub in orange. Not really a color that I like too much, but you know it was cheap and it's part of the deal here. Two dollars and nine cents. Next up, these are the big bite baits. Two inch crappie miner. They spell it M-I-N-N-R, which I think is freaking awesome. But it's a silver glitter pearl laminate. It's like the crystal pattern, Bobby Garland. Um, pretty freaking awesome. It's the exact same body. Here's a kicker. $2.19. You get 10 of them a pack. Next up, another one by Apex Tackle. This is a two-inch two curl tail grub. The curl tail grub is just a bait that everybody in our lifetime has grown up and used back in the day. It's a very versatile bait you can fish it a ton of different ways and i think the most popular patterns were chartreuse and just plain white and that's exactly what this one is plain white two dollars nine cents and we got a couple of more baits here i'll go over that one last but this one is another one by big bite baits it is the try to get open where you can see it this is a two inch fat grub in tennessee shad just another curl tail grub, you know, shad pattern there, $2.19. And the last bait that we're going to use is the Big Bite Baits, which Big Bite Baits makes really cheap plastics, but they're a very reputable company. They make really, really good pl uh, plastics at a good price. Uh, this is the one and a half inch crappie tube in Firecracker, and it's just a clear body with some red, silver, and blue flake, which is kind of a... You know, Independence Day, 4th of July kind of pattern, which that's not really why I bought it. Why I bought it was that right there. $1.69. And you get 10 of these into the pack. Uh, they didn't have any jig heads that I wanted to use for the challenge, so I'm going to use some of my own. So 164th and 116th. And we're going to get at it. Also, I mentioned buying a rod, which this is not a part of this necessarily. It's a rod that I've seen used on Richard Gene the Fishing Machines channel multiple times over. If you don't know who he is, get out from under the rock you're living under and go search Richard Gene the Fishing Machine here on YouTube. Dude knows what he's talking about when it comes to catfishing and crappie fishing. But anyway, this is a Canyon Creek Super Ultralight 7 foot line rating 2 to 6 pound lure weight rating. Here's why I bought it. 164th 2 and 8th. You almost never see rods rated as low as 164th of an ounce 132nd ounce and 116th ounce are a little bit more common actually pretty common especially the heavier you get but 
you almost never see a rod that's rated down to 1 64th of an ounce. So I paired it up with a Abby Garcia's SP10 or Silver Max 10, whatever they're called, one of the older ones. Two pound test trout SOS line, and we're gonna go down here and see if we can catch some crappie. And I might cook some of them later, I don't know. Hopefully we can catch enough. But anyway, let's get rigged up, get down here, hopefully catch some fish. All right, we're down here finally. Check our drag. We'll give it a few casts here around the bridge first, but I'm gonna make my way between here and that little island. See what happens. And this uh, Canyon Creek Super Ultralight is a freaking noodle, as you would expect. But it feels pretty good. It's got a shorter grip on it. And it does cast 164th baits or jigs a little better than, say, my ACC crappy sticks, which those are medium, medium rods. All right, first fish, what is it? This rod feels freaking awesome. Like this, this is a tiny little bluegill. Well, it's not tiny. It's probably a five or six inch bluegill. Felt pretty dang good on it. Hold on, Sparky. Uh, we're going to try to do a couple of fish per bait. Um, and we may not try to do all of the baits, but we're going to fish with a couple of them. Hopefully all of them, but I don't know. It just depends on how fast or slow the body is. Got us another fish. Chill, dude. Another gill. I want to do it with my phone. Got that rigged in there just a little bit too far. There we go. But yeah, these uh, Apex baits got a lot of softer plastics. And the action is just much better with them than the um, big bite baits. <laughs> Another bluegill with ambition. Chill, 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 chill. Also, I looked at my logbook this morning at my records for this time last year to see how many fish I'd caught versus last year. And, uh, I have quite literally doubled the amount of fish this year that I caught last year. And we still have, we still have a good bit of time left in January. Oh, that's a fish. That one just felt like another stump. What are we? You're not what I want to eat. Not that I'd keep you if you were that, or if I was after you anyway. But that's a little large head. This little dinky bass right here, probably 10 inches long, felt really good on this super ultralight rod. Again, dinky little bass.
and like I was saying and like I was saying um, we ain't gonna try to catch one on every single bait and if we get around to that good if we don't we don't if we do even better that's a fish kind of hard to tell what's what with this rod being such a noodle like hopefully y'all can kind of see the bend in it but we've got a uh dude that is actually pretty dang good bass <laughs> chill 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 i've only got two pound test so i gotta be real careful there we go You kind of look like the spotted bass that I caught up here the other day. Where's my phone? I'll have to take a picture and then look at it later. Another good bass. That felt really good on this rod. I was uh, mildly disappointed though because I was really hoping that was a crappie. fish well it seems like the bass want to come out and play today hey chill out home slice chill out Do I have a fish? I do. Huh. That's a first. A uh, yellow perch. I can honestly say that I have, uh, never to my knowledge, caught a yellow perch here well just one more fish that we can add to the list. Well, we didn't exactly wear them out and we didn't exactly get skunked, but we caught a few fish on cheaper baits, which I think the reason that cheaper baits kind of get shunned by anglers nowadays is they're cheaper baits and just not as well-known brands. But big fact for y'all that think that way, a lot of these cheaper baits are made by name brand companies like the little swimming minnow thing that yum makes or sells is actually a bobby garland product anyway hope you like the video thanks for watching